Yeah, nice to have you joining us. We're live, NASCAR on Fox, with Darrell Walter, Chris Myers, joined by Kevin Harvick. Of course, Kurt Busch, we've talked about six different winners in the first six races, and these are two of them uh, right here. And so as teammates, and Stuart Haas, right, you have... Uh, you're starting up front. You got in the top 11 spots. Three of you, including Tony Stewart, your boss on on the pole. How does a win this early change things? I, I know you want to win every week. We know that, but affect things with the new chase rules. I think it makes the bad days a lot less stressful. Just for the fact that uh, you're able to get that win out of the way and, and be able to 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 move forward and and kind of approach things with a a, a reasonable. Uh, fix to the problems instead of just getting in such an uproar. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago I was, hey, where are we going to go and test? How are we going to plan out the next couple months? You know, and Rodney Childers, his crew chief, was talking, well, wait a minute, we won. We're going to save all of our tests for later. <laughs> now that we've won, it's like, what's Tony Stewart need? That's exactly what our mentality is right now. Yeah, you know, I've had drivers tell me that, uh, and, and team owners too, they walk into Hendrick Motorsports, for instance, they look around and they say, how in the world are we supposed to beat this? The resources they had, the people, the equipment. How does it feel when you walk into Stuart Haas? When you walk in and you see what they have, are you saying, comparing it to what you've done, and, and like, how is that? No, no wonder these guys are successful, yeah. or they should be more well, successful. Well, I, I think for, for me, you know, just walking in the shop, having run race teams, Kurt's had a lot of experience with race teams and, and how they run. I, you just see the amount of, of parts and pieces and things that have been purchased over the offseason, and I think you see the commitment from the whole Stuart Haas organization to say, all right, this is what we want to do, and this is what we're going to go do to, to make that happen. And, and you don't have to worry about an old trailer or an old pit box or an old car or anything like that because everything's brand new, uh, you know, that we started. And, and um, you know, a lot of the guys uh, on the other teams have cut up their cars and put new bodies on them and put new parts and pieces and crew chiefs and people, and you see all this stuff going around, and it's expensive. But uh, in the end, you're only as good as the people that, that you have around you, and, and they've hired a lot of good people, and that's, that's really what makes it go. Are you surprised we've had the, the six different winners so far? Or well, the, the format is different, okay. and it's uh, go for broke. Go for those wins. Uh, will we continue to see more? I, I think so. Yeah. I think this year the mentality isn't just consistency. It is go for that uh, go for broke moment and go for wins. But, you know, with Stuart Haas Racing, to have two guys that have won already, now we need to move our eggs to the basket of Tony Stewart and Danica Patrick. That way, when the chase starts, we've got the best shot at winning this whole thing with quantity of yeah. cars. See, see, in the past, we've had points champions. Yeah. We're not, it's not so much that way now. I yeah. mean, we the points are still something you got to consider. You can't just it's say, fall back plan. Yeah, it's, it's, it's plan B now. Yeah. It was plan A, now it's right. plan B. Well, you're aggressive anyway, right? But does it, could you be more aggressive once you get a... You see, you, that guy's yeah. car from last week, he is aggressive. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I, I thought it was fun. It had yeah. all of Brad's markings on it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask this respectfully. And with Tony Stewart, Danica Patrick, and This will be good if it's <laughs> respectful. <laughs> Hang on, boys. That's a, just the personalities. And I know we talked about this at down in Daytona, just how you were going to mesh together, given the, the fun or you called it intensity that you all seem to have. How, how is that blending? How is that going? Do you ever see each other except on, the, <laughs> on Mondays? Like here? <laughs> we haven't had a, a competition meeting that has been less than three hours that I've seen. Really? Yeah. So wow. long, you know, detailed meetings. You know, there's, there's a lot of talk and a lot of chatter about okay. what our cars are doing, what we're what we've got going on, where we're going, and, and I think you've seen it evolve and. and I've told you this. You know, I, I feel like we have a lot of room for improvement to okay. as a, as a company, as a team, and everybody involved to get better. So, it's um, it's been good so far. That's the best news. We've won two races, but there's still so much more room for yeah. improvement. See, uh, we looked at personalities. Right. We when we were looking at these guys yeah. coming together, we said all oh, these person. We forgot to look at talent. Yeah. And what these guys are brought to this organization is a ton of information. I always like to say your two and his two will make five. <laughs> And, and that's what these guys coming into Stuart Haas, I think it, it did. Right. It elevated the program because of what you bring to the table. Well, I appreciate that. And it yes. means a lot, though, to be able to, to add to a program. But you've got to have guys in that middle management area that are going to be able to take it in and do something with it. So a guy like Greg Zipidelli, Matt Borland, being able to communicate to Gene Haas and a driver owner, Tony Stewart, it's all about the people. And then you add that Hendrick element to it with the engine Ooh. and the chassis Ooh. and and the, and the information you know that the two teams uh, see from each other is 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 something that's that's pretty neat. Yeah, I was wondering about it. you had the alliance with RCR last year at the 78 team. You did an amazing job, got in the chase. You came from RCR, and then you married. That's where my two and two make five. You marry all that in with the Hendrick information. Uh, you guys have got a pretty good uh, portfolio of what to, what to do and what not to do. Well, I, I think as a, as a driver, you know, you look at all that stuff and it keeps you honest. You know, there's there's no 
you know, this car doesn't work or that car doesn't work. Or, um, and as a crew chief, it, it does the same thing. You look at this splitter height and that splitter height and this travel, and, and you look at all those things. It keeps everybody motivated to say, well, if they can do that with the same stuff, then we need to figure out why we're not. So it's a, it's a good tool for sure. I know we as fans appreciate your competitive nature in the good times and, and the bad. I, uh, you can hang around for a second. I know you got to move and get back in. I'm going to go get dressed. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's ready to go. You better go get ready. <laughs> you got to drive yeah. ready. But thanks for coming by. Yeah. Congrats again. All right, good luck guys. tonight. Great day. Uh, Kevin's going to hang around. We'll talk a little more Stuart Haas racing and more about uh, this race in Texas as the Stuart Haas race team. They're the only home. race team so far this year that has multiple wins. You're watching NASCAR on Fox, and we're going to go racing here in about an hour.